ABC's Extreme Makeover, MTV's I Want a Famous Face, The Swan on Fox, well, better than a shot of Botox, these plastic surgery makeover shows are filling in holes in the network's primetime schedules. The quest for physical perfection is changing the face of reality TV, but at what price? Here's NBC's Willow Bay. Before the operation, Dr. Fisher carefully marks each patient to guide... First, there was ABC's Extreme Makeover. Now, there's more plastic surgery on primetime TV. Two new reality shows that offer far more than a nip here and a tuck there. On MTV, these twin brothers go under the knife to look like Brad Pitt. I don't recognize the person I see because of the fact that I'm so swan right now. And Fox offers ugly ducklings the chance to become swans. Get ready for the most radical transformations ever brought to television. I'll be a new woman when I come back. The show is really like the classic fairy tale, The Ugly Duckling. The classic fairy tale with a twist. Hundreds of thousands of dollars of plastic surgery. And three months of work with a trainer and a therapist. The happy ending here? The most incredible competition ever devised. A big win at a beauty pageant. Only one will be named the Swan. The popularity of extreme makeover has given the plastic surgery business a boost. But some worry that these new shows may have the opposite effect. For today, we'll obey. NBC News, Los Angeles. Dr. Richard D'Amico is chief of the Department of Plastic Surgery at Englewood Hospital and Medical Center in New Jersey. He's also on the board of trustees of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Dr. D'Amico, good morning to you. Thanks for coming on with good us. Good morning, Lester. Thank you for having me. This show, Swan, in particular, is one in which women sometimes are devastated. They admit to being depressed because of their appearance, and here they undergo this surgery to take part in what amounts to a beauty contest. First question for you, does this cross an ethical line for a plastic surgeon to take part? in a program like this? Well, Lester, yes, I think it does. And I think these latest shows are clearly over the line. Uh, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons is interested and in good surgical results with safety for patients. And we'd also like to be able to educate the public. But we have real concerns about shows like Swan and I want a new face or I want a celebrity face. Well, let me take, take the television show out of it. If a patient comes to you and says, I'm depressed the way I look, I feel ugly, I want you to change my look, do you accept that patient? I sit with that patient and say that you can't cure depression with a scalpel. You can't create self-esteem with a scalpel. So somebody that's down and out, feels they don't have a soul, they don't have sufficient self-esteem, needs psychological counseling and probably lengthy counseling, not just on the way to an operating room. Now, if that patient undergoes successful counseling over a period of time, I would certainly continue to visit with that patient. Ultimately, they may get some clearly focused surgery, but the surgery shouldn't happen at the beginning, and it's not the answer to personal problems. There's an audience for this. I mean, since Extreme Makeover started, uh, uh, cosmetic surgery up 32%. Some of that may or may not be related to that particular show, but what is the message that's being sent by these shows of these women who are becoming gorgeous after undergoing the knife. Well, I think there are some real scary messages being sent. I think that there are some real psychological dangers and issues here. Uh, some of these patients are being given absolutely unrealistic expectations. I could not make somebody look like Brad Pitt that doesn't look like Brad Pitt. And in fact, those kind of severe body image alterations with 16 operations can end up pushing the patient psychologically over the edge. Do you see people coming in who say, I want to look like a celebrity? I mean, that's what that particular show is about. Is that something you see and other doctors you don't see? I think what we're seeing with these shows is way out on the fringe. I think if we want to talk not about reality TV. not the reality of cosmetic plastic surgery, the real patient in America that most of my colleagues are seeing comes in and says, look, I'd like to look really good, but I must look really natural. That's what we see day in and day out in cosmetic surgery in the United States. Those are the real patients, and that's what's really going on. Dr. Richard D'Amico, thanks so much for coming on and talking about this. We appreciate the insight. My pleasure.